right, good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Banawe. So ladies and gentlemen, your boy success is here in Banawe today. Banawe. And the next day you are going to continue hiking, going to Batad, and this is where you are going to see Batad. At the same time, Batad has also a waterfalls. You can also relax and stay in that area. So what's your, what's your local language? Our local language here, we have so many. We have the Ayangan and Tuwali. Yeah, for Banawi Central School, we, the school really need a classroom because the newly built one is not enough. Alright guys, so right now we are going outside to observe the flag ceremony and also to listen to the national anthem. So we are trying to find a guest house. Yeah, the cheapest. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So finally, we are here at a hostel where we are staying at. Just take a look here at this view right here. Ooh, ladies and gentlemen, Banawe, welcome to Banawe. We just arrived here this morning. We are having our breakfast right now, but I want to show you something right here. So the weather is just about to get clear right here. So wow. Look how foggy the mountains are right there. And I'm actually new to this place, but later I hope to tour this place around. So we, we're gonna be doing a lot of things here. Wow, look down here. Have the stream of water passing right there. And it's making a sound. I don't know if you, if you can hear the sound. So I'm here at a restaurant right now. We're trying to get a breakfast and coffee. So it was about eight hours bus ride from Baguio City, and I just we just left the bus. Like we went to the tourism uh, tourism council of Banawe, and also did a registration of fifty pesos for environmental feet. And we came out here like to have our lunch, not that lunch, but we came out here to have our breakfast at Greenview. So the reason is called Greenview. So as you can see here. From the restaurant, you, you're going to be viewing those places right there. And I met a friend here today from Asia. Hello. <laughs> How are you? He's sitting right now. Great. Yeah. So he's gonna, we're going to be traveling together for the next maybe week. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, what's, Very your, nice what, for tomorrow. what's your name again? My name is Itamaru, I'm from Israel, but you can call me Ita. Ita, yeah. Much the, sh easy. the shortest way to call you Ita. <laughs> and uh, my Bota, if you're watching right now, so this is your brother from Israel. So I have a, I have a brother from another mother from Israel I was telling you about. <laughs> His name is Tara. And I, I'm sure you'll be so excited to meet you and all of the guys there on Shigaru some days if you're gonna go there. So, yeah. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so I'm about to have my breakfast right here and talk to you guys later. So we're gonna be showing you guys more of this place later, but first thing we need to refresh ourselves, you know, take breakfast and some coffee. So I just order and I'm waiting for my food right now. Alright guys, so this is what I'm having this morning. I have three toasted bread right here. I have an egg. It's kind of mixed with some vegetables. I can't explain this right now. <laughs> and I have a rice here. And I also have a coffee right here. Banawe. This is Banawe, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, we are out of Greenview restaurant right now and we just need to walk this way. This is a very busy street. So we are trying to find a hostel, right? The cheapest yeah, hostel cheapest, in Banawe. <laughs> wow. I think there are a lot of tricycle here. Unlike Baguio City, no tricycle. Kids are going to school. Yeah, the kids are going to school right now. <laughs> so look at, I, but I saw the school right here. It's just on the other place. Huh. We can check the school. Yeah, we can check the school out. 
but I think our accommodation is important. How long do we need to walk? Wow, see how this house is wow, look up there. <laughs> Damn, yeah. You there? Oh, there are even cars passing up there, but I'm more like okay. There's a car coming here. Hi, are you going to school alone? Yes. All right, what's your name? Johaja. Johaja, all right. Here in, in Baguio or in this region, people true or not called how do you call it? Bitter nuts. Bitter nut, right? Have yeah. you have you tried? Yes. Oh, is, is it good? Awesome. <laughs> what does it do? It makes you high a little bit. Oh really? Yeah, you need to mix it with lime and then the red become hollow in your mouth. Oh. It yeah, you spit it out. Because uh, last night when we were coming there was a there was a guy sitting beside me on the bus. He was doing that all night. And then spitting in the bottle. Wow. I actually <laughs> tried Papua New Guinea. In Papua New Guinea, oh, every, Papua New Guinea. everyone, everyone yeah. should. I, I watch that. Day. Yeah, every day. Yeah. It's like <laughs> the whole country. Is <laughs> so every day everyone is hot. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so check out the view from here. Okay, that's the school I was talking about. And they have a basketball court that later you can play with them. There, this one here. So that's the basketball court right there. Later we can check it out. Yeah, since we have a whole day here. And it's foggy up there like So guys we we don't know much about this place yet but now we're central school So this is signage of the school right here Welcome to school division office in Fugao but now we're central school 70 meters down we don't know much about this place yet, but it seems to be an interesting place. And I'm, I'm just so excited to bring you contents from this uh, Banawe. Like, I've heard a lot about Banawe. And this morning we saw some tourists, right? In there. They said they're from Italy. Those guys. Life is simple, it's happier, right? People who live simple life, they are more happy every time. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Is it your school? Okay. Is it uh, Banawe Central School? Okay. All right. Can we can we check inside? Can we? All right. So this is Banawe Central School right here. So this is this is a different school from the one we saw. Yeah, yeah. And you can give them some English lesson. Yeah, yeah, sure. So. Are you one of the teachers here? Yes. All right. How are you? I'm fine. What's your name? I'm Eva. Are you from Panawe? Yes. Where are you born here? Yes. I'm oh. a native of Panawe. All right. Nice. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine. All right. Uh, we're inside just uh, to see how, the, how your school looks like. <laughs> All right. So we are. Uh, good morning. So we are about to enter in here and check out the office. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here at Banawe Central School and right before us here is the principal of Banawe Central School. Yes, so uh, we're just going to talk to her because 
we passed by here and we saw the kids coming to school and we we were so excited to come over and see how things are you know done here yeah. and so the first question i want to ask you uh the full name of the school is banawi central school banawi central school yeah and yeah this is the only central school of banawi the municipality of banawi yeah and this place is part of ifugao like, yeah yeah okay so when was this That's school the name founded of our division ifugao yeah ifugao is our division all right and our province okay so when was this school founded uh somewhere in 1911 that's Nin according to the book i have read yeah that's yeah. So, that's so long already 1911 yeah, that's so, long. so i during mean during the spanish uh, regime i guess yeah <laughs> yeah for banavi central school we, the school really need a classroom because the newly built one is not enough and then the kids are increasing in number and uh, we also need ICT gadgets like uh, uh, TV, like laptops. Like how many students do you have right now? As of now for the school year 2022-23, we have 685 kids from K to 6. Okay. That is from kinder to grade 6. So the sir. school is only from kinder to grade 6? Yes, sir. 600? 685, sir, the wow. population. All right, guys, so right now we are going outside to observe the flag ceremony and also to listen to the national anthem. So as you can see here, hello Koya, how are you guys? So nice, so oh. beautiful. So nice, yeah, so Where beautiful. Where are you taking pictures? I'm a YouTuber, I'm a vlogger. Ah, okay, so good morning. Good morning. Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful, good morning. Why are you handsome? Thank you. <laughs> He's asking me why I'm handsome. <laughs> They are so excited right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so right now they are about to perform the flight ceremony and we are about to see it so there's a projector right there they're going to sing the national anthem and it's going to be projected right there so right now they're singing the national anthem Oh, hello! Oh, 
talk to them for a bit. Uh, probably some of them have some questions about Africa or Asia. So Ita and I are going to talk to them. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. So you have two teachers in one class? No. Roaming. No. Oh, roaming around. All right, all right. All right. So again, we are, I am from Israel and he's from Liberia and they want to we want you guys to ask questions about our country and we're going to ask you back questions okay. about your area and Philippines. What? Jesus died. God, Israel. Jesus died. Jesus died in Israel, that's true, but he also born in Israel, right? Yeah. What did you say? Jesus died in Israel? Yeah. All right. Where in Israel Jesus died? Because uh, for our sins, because of our sins, he died for but, us. But well, we seek him. So you can ask him if you don't know which city Jesus died in, so he will tell you. Yes. Jerusalem. Jerusalem is my capital. Jerusalem. Yes. When did Jesus die? Two thousand years ago, right? Yeah. Two thousand twenty-two years ago. Two thousand and twenty-two years ago. So basically, the uh, the years are divided into two. We have BC and AD. So BC is before. Christ and eight years after the death of Christ. So after his death, and then they started counting the years. So now it's 2022 years. Right? Yeah, yeah. Africa. When you hear Africa, what comes to your mind? Lions. Elephants. Lions. Elephants. Oh, all right. So I, I'm not a lion. <laughs> I'm from Africa. I'm not a lion. I hear the name Africa, I imagine people black. Black people, right? Yeah, black people, right? What's up, ladies and gentlemen? So, we just uh, got you talking to the kids in the school, right? There, and Ita and I are walking down here. So, he actually found a hostel online. We want to check it out. And we look a little bit tired, but we have to refresh ourselves. And we'll see you guys later to tour around more of Banawe. So we just saw these guys here. They are eating uh, stuff here. How do you call this? Beetle nut. Be oh, can I see your teeth? <laughs> it's not that red. I mean, that one is much more red. All right. <laughs> Look here. So because of because of the beta nuts here, these guys have been chewing a lot and spitting out here. <laughs> what does it do for you? What does this? Uh, do for you why this one yeah strong teeth strong teeth yeah. ah, it make your teeth strong <laughs> is that you Ita? it make us warm the body ah, okay. Okay. Make, make, you, make you high a little bit that's yeah. tobacco that's the tobacco, that's tobacco. Ah. To tobacco tobacco the nut it's called the beetle nut the pitana. Yes. The lime. You mix. That's ah. not the lime. You get the lime. I, yeah. no, this is the lime. The lime, yeah. The lime and the. So you mix it with the lime and then it become red inside the mouth. Yes. You mix it. You mix it all together. Then you spit it red. Yeah. Spit it. So what do you spit it? Red. You spit red. Because if you drink uh, your saliva, you will become dizzy. Dizzy. Yeah. Because of the tobacco, you get high. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid to try. I should try at least one. One? I, 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 I already tried it. 
I, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not gonna be tasty. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, later, later. Maybe before, before. After, after shooting videos, yeah. No, after lunch. <laughs> I don't wanna lose I don't wanna lose my appetite. So this is something the guys are eating here. Ita said he've tried it and I mean, you is, it, it's is, very it, is it beta or sour or how, how does it taste? Mm, yes. Yes, yeah, sour. Sour. Bitter. Bitter, Bitter and, sour. and sour. Wow. Not good. Just stay nice <laughs> you, you want to split it. That's ah. that's the <laughs> hey. instant uh... <laughs> But he said if you are gonna swallow your saliva after chewing it, you're gonna get dizzy. So meaning you're getting high already. <laughs> yeah, right? Actually he's saying it like it's an healthy thing, but it can make cancer. Ah. That's what uh, people say. Can, can give you cancer. Yeah, maybe if you, that's if you one, eat more of it. Maybe that's one of the reasons that in Papua New Guinea they live around uh, until 65 years old. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we are trying to find a guest house or a hostel. Yeah, that's our mission to find the cheap guest. Yeah, house. the cheapest. We want to find the cheapest. Oh, just on the, the way, the way to the cheapest guest house is not easy, guys. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. So finally, we are here at a hostel where we are staying at. So we passed downstairs because we took a longer time finding a hostel. <laughs> I I actually never took notice of the name. Ita, did you remember the name? Something with strawberry. 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 I have no name here. So later, when we go downstairs, I could tell you guys. I'll give you the give you the name of the of the hostel, but just take a look here at this view right here. So that's the view of where we are staying, like from this uh, terrace right here, a little terrace right here, and from the terrace right here you can see the the view of this place. So we were actually there this morning. Well, I'm not sure if I can stand here. Okay, we were actually here this morning somewhere here, and check out the view of this place here. It's beautiful, guys. And later we want to go up there to hike on the mountain but tomorrow is going to be the real hike because we are going to Bata we're going to hike from uh, a place we need to use a tricycle to go there and we will hike to Bata so it's going to be interesting guys so make sure to stay tuned and right now we are about to go have our lunch outside and let's take you through that let's go show you the lunch here in Banawe Take a look right inside here with my boy Ita. Are you ready? <laughs> so right downstairs here, this is uh, the downstairs of the hostel. And as you can see, almost all the houses here have this um, art here. Beautiful arts everywhere of the people of Banawe. In this one right here. And you can eat your lunch here. So that's a menu? Yes. What's the name of your place? Stairway Lodge. And ah, Stairway. Stairway Lodge and Restaurant. Stairway. Yes. Oh, okay, Stairway Lodge and Restaurant. And restaurant. Yeah, but now it's much more popular than uh, yeah. <laughs> strawberry. Strawberry. He, he says strawberry. <laughs> he says strawberry. The place name is strawberry. I remember something with strawberry. Right? Yeah, I I, I I remember it was S, but I was kind of like, what's the, what's the actual name? <laughs> okay. So they also sell food here. After eating, uh, Ita and I are going to walk around. And I know a lot of you guys seeing Ita, I haven't actually explained to you how we met. So, yes, last night we, we rode the same bus to Banawe. Ita was sitting at the back. Actually, when I entered the bus, I saw you like, I saw you at the back, but I thought you were, you were traveling with someone. So he was sleeping at the back of the bus and I was sitting uh, at another place. So when we got uh, at the bus terminal this morning or where the bus dropped us off, and everyone left us. We were three foreigners. One, uh, Jimmy. Jimmy is from Taiwan. Jimmy is with uh, another guy from Banawe here. And Ita and I, we stayed together because we started talking there. So this is uh, the, 
the thing about traveling this is a travel hack for you guys sometimes if you are traveling you you tend to be shy you are not outspoken so we just met there and we started talking and now we became friends like we are sharing things together sharing the accommodation and going to Baghdad together we're going to travel together I don't know anything about hiking he's going to teach me and he, I'm also going to teach him how to use the camera and shoot a video so I'm happy to meet him and he's from Israel actually yeah so what do you want to tell my subscribers about yourself and why do you love traveling oh I didn't plan the speech <laughs> <laughs> you didn't play the speech, just, just say it, let it just flow. <laughs> okay, okay, excuse me for uh, my not perfect English. Oh, it's, it's better, man, your English is better. <laughs> yeah, I really appreciate it. Well, I like traveling, I don't know, it's like kind of disease in my body. I just started to travel, to travel a few years ago, and since then I, I can't stop. Alright. Um, for me, one month of traveling is uh, like one year of of not traveling, yeah. <laughs> comparing the experience. Okay. Um, that's it. I'm a student. I'm a graduate student in Israel. I studied electric engineering. Okay. Uh, what else do you want to know? <laughs> um, all right. I think that's that's enough. Yeah, so he. Six years old. So um, after graduation, uh, Ita decided to travel around a little bit before he started working or go to pursue his master's degrees. So we met in Philippines. So you like you decided to travel to the Philippines, and here we are. But before you came to the Philippines, uh, where were you? Like you told me, you traveled to Papua, Papua New Guinea. So how was your experiences in Papua New okay, Guinea? Okay, I think it's in, in the top country for me. All right, I've been to South America, Europe, a little bit Africa, Papua New Guinea. The best place. Oh, you travel. actually went to Africa. Where in Africa did you go Tanzania. to? Tanzania. Tanzania. Wow, Zanzibar. Did you yeah, go to also Zanzibar? To Zanzibar yes. All right, also nice. Zanzibar. Okay, but uh, Papua New Guinea is it's in my top place. Oh, it's it's, you cannot be a tourist in Papua New Guinea. If you are going to Papua New Guinea, so you are one of them. You're gonna stay with them, eat whatever they eat, All right. go wherever they go. So in Papua New Guinea, you will not be a tourist. That's why I really recommend Papua New Guinea. Just do it in a safe way because it yeah. is a little bit dangerous country. You should know where to go. All right. So he actually recommended I check out Papua New Guinea, and of course. I have to go and see my fiancé first before <laughs> before I make uh, other travel plans from the Philippines. Yeah, but hopefully he and I will be traveling together in the near future. And I can't wait for those adventures, man. I just realized that I forgot something back in Baguio. So I have something on my hands here. I'm not sure where I placed them. Yeah, I just remembered it just now. Like I forgot something in Baguio City. But anyway, it is where it is, guys. So after here, we're gonna tour you around and explore. But now we're together, so stay tuned, guys. And we are about to have our lunch. See you guys later. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So we are about to eat our lunch. Or uh, Ita is already eating. So I'm not eating. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is that yeah, Ita today is Ita first time trying chicken adobo. So. I'm not going to show my reaction right now. I think he's the only one who needs to tell us how does it taste for you. How do you find it? Very good, guys. Try it. All right, very good. Yeah, and he loves spicy like me. <laughs> and uh, we have a recommendation for it from the kids in school. Yeah, from the kids in school this morning, right? That's how I heard about it. Yeah. And yeah, that because you asked the question, like, what, what was your favorite food? And he said chicken adobo, so now you're trying the chicken adobo. Success like ask a serious question, like... Uh, uh, did you <laughs> ask about food? <laughs> I ask the real question, you know, what, what can I eat you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to get informative, informative uh, things. Yeah, <laughs> alright. So try it, let's see you, let's see you try the chicken adobo. Alright. Mm. Okay, nice. <laughs> All right, guys. See you guys later. I need to eat right now. So this is chicken adobo right here from Benawe. The weather here is also dramatic, like Baguio City. Oh, come on, it's not that long. I think it's yeah. a bit rain. Right? Yeah, always a little Don't bit of rain, <laughs> and after that, you you're gonna experience a little bit of sun. Hi. So you were talking about a hot spring that you want us to go to, to check out? 
The kids here recognize us. Yeah, all of the kids recognize <laughs> us from the school, so they are saying hi to us. Oh, they, they actually saw this. So this is the... The bitter nut. Bitter nut. Yeah, you actually saw it. How much? How much? What? Yeah, how much? That's 20 pesos. 20 pesos? Yeah. Oh my god. I saw a lot of people eating this. Yes. Uh, see, here's a market. We can walk up here a little bit. Uh, should be uh, going this way. These are stores here, sorry, sorry, stores in. Uh, Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Um, how much do you sell this stuff? This is a game, right? Yes, yes. But if I'm gonna buy the game, do you can you teach me how to play? It? How much? Thirty-five. 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 Is it is a necklace? Yes. Wow. About uh, things to buy for tomorrow. Yeah. Now? Should so, we buy now or after the hot spring? Now, because when we're back from the hot spring, maybe it's going to be closed. Okay. It will be closed seven. So, I'm not sure if they are telling the truth, but basically, this is the market right here. <laughs> like here. Up there. So, they said this is the market, and we just bought some snacks for the hiking tomorrow. Oh, okay, another market this way. Hi, how are you? Still want to get some bread? Uh, I think we have bread. I'm going to buy more. Uh, I, for me, I, I don't think I'm going to eat bread. I'm just going to eat a biscuit. So if that's enough for you. Let's try to check for fruits. <laughs> They're selling a lot of these things here. Where? Fruits? Yeah. All, all of you have red lips. Your lips are so red. Everyone eat it? No, not everyone. Okay, most people. Oh, that's a real market here. So welcome to Bunawe Wet Market. What time do you guys open the market? Like every morning, what time do you open the market? Five, I five six. Five to six? Yes, five, I. They said they said they actually open five to six a.m. What do you think? Five to six a.m. every morning. Let's buy it today. Okay. <laughs> hopefully, we're going to buy the item. Hopefully, we should get a place to save it. So here is the wet market of Banawe. Hi. Hi. Hello. I'm good. <laughs> Yeah, there's nice tomato. Yeah. That fruit here. <laughs> How do you call this here again? Rambutan. Yeah. I always forget the name. Why? Why I didn't pay you? Why you didn't tell me? I was I was about to go home. Huh? How much do I owe you? 
35 pesos, okay. I'll pay you now, okay? So here in Banawe Market, guys, I just saw this chicken. Roasted? Oh. <laughs> Why is the chicken like this and how much do you sell it? Oh, that's 250, 250. 250 pesos? Yes. But why is it like this? Can you tell me? What? Why is it like this? Because it's already butchered. Butcher? Yeah, they put it at the fire. What? They move the... Hair? Hair. That's why it become like that. Oh. Yeah. But if you will buy it, it will give you 300 pesos. <laughs> why? You said yeah, to... because you have a lot of money. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh... No, I'm just kidding. 300. Ranch trip? Yeah. You always do. You always do ranch trip. So you want to go with us and stay and come back with us? <laughs> <laughs> what's your name, by the way? Jumi. Yeah, what's your name? Jumi? Yes. Alright, so we'll see you tomorrow morning, okay? Alright. Okay. Okay. So you go to Biopuen? Now, now, we want to check out the basketball first to hang out with the kids. We will right? let you know about tomorrow, okay? Yeah. I will call you about you tomorrow. Will, you'll yeah. call you for tomorrow. Okay. So this guy just goes into under. To view when? Yeah. No, no, to the... Um, okay. Alright. Ita is about to show them what he got from Israel. Yeah. About to go to the basketball car. I think they do it. Hi. Hello. So we're here. Okay. You want to play? Yeah. Good. Go to the middle. Then you start now. All right. So we about to jam with them. Yeah. All right. So this is a way to connect with the locals. You know, uh, we want to play a little bit of basketball with them right now. And I'm not sure who's gonna help us to recall. Oh, yeah. Can you help us to recall later? Okay. Yeah, you you help us to recall. Yeah. Yeah. Alright guys. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Hey Jordan by Manino. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are here right now in Banawe. So, no, shout out to the guys from Banawe right here. So, we are about to play basketball with them. Shout out to you guys. All right, so. Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, students of Banawe and they just subscribe to the YouTube channel. Shout out to you guys. Why why are you guys shy? Huh? <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, oh just to end the day, we are here with some of our friends. Oh. Hello. So we have our friend right here who's going to cook for us in Banawe. Say hi. Hi. Yeah, thank you. So you're so generous. You're going to cook food for us to eat. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want to see us eating, stay tuned for the next vlog. And this is how we come to the end of this vlog. So tomorrow we'll be going to Bata. And we hope you stay tuned and follow us on the journey. And... Yo, yo, the man right here, Itai. So tomorrow we hiking to Bata and we hope to see you guys. See you guys and we love you. We're about to cook and eat in Banawe.